classrooms more dangerous, not less. Putting one of these on the hips and in the hands of school teachers is a roiling issue in Ohio right now. This local teacher, Andrea Spenny, tells me the word she has for it, insanity. The mass shootings like the one in Uvalde, Texas, has not softened her stance about arming herself in the classroom. I thought about it for maybe about 30 seconds, if that, um, and, and it's an absolute ludicrous idea. She joined several other public school teachers this morning to support Democrat Nan Whaley, the former Dayton mayor who wants to be this state's first woman governor. In order to achieve that, she'd have to upend Republican incumbent Mike DeWine, who signed a bill that opens the classroom door to arming teachers. Spenny teaches English at Woodward High, and in plain English, she explains her reservations. Overhearing kids saying, oh, well, hold on, how would I get out of this classroom right now? It's me wondering. Do I keep my door, you know, just cracked open? Do I keep it shut all the way? Do I put a desk up against it? Do I put a curtain instead of having the glass covered on my door? Those are thoughts we shouldn't have to have. Ohio is of one mind about the need to protect school children. The divide is over how to do it. On the right, you hear about hardening schools and arming teachers. On the left, it's investing in counselors and mental health professionals and background checks. These educators say do the math. 180 hours to renew their teaching licenses, 24 to strap on a gun. I shouldn't have to overhear 15 and 16 year olds talking about, well, this is how I'm gonna get out alive. That, that conversation should not have to exist in this country. And the law allowing educators to carry a gun in a classroom goes into effect this fall. As Governor DeWine points out, school districts have the final say-so on this. They can decide to prohibit guns in their classrooms if they choose. And that, of course, is what CPS has decided about it. Reporting live, John London, WLWT News 5. John, thank you.